Snoop video, bro. I do one every season. So here we go. Operation Neon Dawn. This is officially the final season of year five. For this occasion, we're introducing another defend defender to our roster, the fierce Thai operator Aruna. Equipped with the Surya Gate, a device that zaps drones and projectiles, the new unique ability will have opponents' heads spinning. And there's a bunch of different changes, including the Sky War Skyscraper map rework, uh, seasonal weapon scan, uh, Echo buff, Echo, well, I wouldn't say buff, Echo nerf, and Habana buff. So yeah, this is her, Arunai. She has the option of the P10 Aroni. She has the, she's the first defending operator to get a DMR on uh, defense. So I'm excited for that. And they get Cap's Pistol, 2 Armor, 2 Speed, which it seems like they're making all the operators uh, 2 Armor, 2 Speed, which is really good because no one was going to play at 1 Speed. She's just 2 Overpowered. And she also gets Barbed Wire and Proximity Arms, which I feel like is really balanced. Uh, this is her gadget. I am 22. There we go. This is her gadget. She has a mine that she puts on top of a door. It is unbreakable, but it can be instantly broken by throwing in a drone or putting your body through it. And by putting your body through it, you lose 30 damage. And it is unbreakable. It will go down, but all the defenders have to do is shoot it once, and it's back online. It, I'm pretty sure one... Once in place, the gate projects a laser array capable of detecting anyone moving through it. When an intruder is detected, energy output to laser increase causes a second to third degree burns. We spent nearly an hour tossing over everything for more of the paper and a piece of fruit through until we found a setting that maximizes damage while limiting energy consumption. So pretty much, it takes about a little bit less than half your damage. The damage output of the gate, as compared to the amount of energy it consumes, continues to amaze me. I... Dr. Elena Mira Alvarez. This is something that we've all been waiting for. The Skyscraper Map Rework. Oh, finally. It's been so long. I can't wait to take a look at this map, bro. It looks so good. Look, there's a helicopter. Like, look at that. It's like, no balconies. It all looks so great. There's a big one. Jaeger's cooldown. Jaeger's active defense system now has a cooldown of 10 seconds after intercepting an opponent's projectile, and it won't be able to intercept additional projectiles until the cooldown ends. The ADS also has an infinite number of charges as opposed to just two. Pretty much what this means is you throw one flashbang, and then you can instantly throw a nade. And not only, it also affects the way you play at Wamai, because Wamai does the same thing. Let's say you, you have an ADS and a Wamai disc. It will not only destroy the tick on the ADS, but it will also destroy the disc as well. So, Jaeger and Wamai are getting a huge nerf. I feel like it's, it's gonna be cool to play with, but I feel like, in theory, it's not gonna last in the long run. This is something that's most likely gonna be buffed. Not even buffed. It's gonna get nerfed hard. They're gonna, they're gonna, like, Lower the amount of pellets she gets because now Habana's X Kairos launcher was originally built to shoot six Kairos at once. Yet only four Kairos are needed to destroy a hatch. The launcher can now be configured to shoot two, four, or six Kairos, allowing players to manage Habana's resource as they see fit. What this means is now instead of having to waste, let's say you're it's we're on Clubhouse, okay? On I'm, I'm doing my famous repel on the window, open the armory hatch. Oh, I mean, you have to use all six, and it's such a waste, because you don't need six, you only need four. So now, you're going to have the option to be able to configure it by pressing B on your keyboard. I'm not really sure what it is on Xbox. But yeah, so she's the option for two. I'm assuming two is going to be used for like castles and stuff. Four is going to be used for like hatches and possibly walls just for tiny lines of sight. 
and six is you know it's gonna be your normal. So you can use it. You can break a castle. You can make some holes, and then you can open the entire wall. So Habana is gonna be one of the most overpowered hard breachers that has come to see. Thermite needs some leaven, bro. He's like so under. Echo's visible yokai. Now, you guys know how Echo is always banned because no one wants to fit the IQ into the lineup because it doesn't fit with the current meta. Now, he will have to play them safely because, I mean, he is getting his shield back, but now they are visible when placed on ceilings. They're visible, period. No longer invisible. Still does the same amount of stuff. Now, you pretty much have to pretty much use them like, I'd say, like a C4 or about cam just something else you have to be careful you can't just sit there and just like hide on the other side of the map with an echo drum invisible you have to be smart where you throw them i really like that uh this is a big one for all you aggressive players out there there is a new runout system there's a runout timer the amount a time defender has before they are detected outdoors has been reduced from two seconds to one second. A debuff icon has been added to the HUD to replace the countdown text. And it's like a giant bar in front of your screen. It's really funny. It's actually kind of... Diffuser planting detection improvement. A low drop zone has been added to the edge of the bomb site to prevent players from accidentally dropping the diffuser while trying to plant it in the area. As well as the plant diffuser animation has been removed closer to the operator's feet. This prevents furniture or other objects blocking the diffuser. Like, eh, eh, that's not that big. Uh, gadgets on gadget interactions. Some of the physical interactions that occur between gadgets have been revised. A notable change to come out of this update is that the sticky gadgets will now stick to properly on bulletproof gadgets. So pretty much, you know how you're using an ash charge and you shoot it at an evil eye? It's been bouncing off in the air and hitting like a ceiling or something. Now it's going to stick to it. And it'll actually explode. As well as Malusi's Banshee song. Ooh, this is a big one. They got a new big update to Team Chat. I guess there's like a timestamp now. There's a bunch of stuff. Now this is in Guardian. Year 5, Season 4, marks the launch of the 6th Guardian program, in which certain seasons have limited time bundle dedicated to a different charity. Look out for more info coming soon regarding the Doc Sith Guardian bundle. Oops. I don't know. I'm, I have the Elite in my main account, so I don't really care. Okay. The operator price decrease. I always love this because now I can actually, you know, buy my operators. This season, this season, Dougie Vigil Zofia's price has dropped down to 10000 Now, let's go. Hidden Nomad's 15000 and Kali Omai's 20000 I really love it because I was never able to buy it. And I guess this right here is going to be the seasonal weapon skin. Neon Dawn Weapon Skin. Complete the year in style with a seasoned weapon skin that fits for a champion. The gold impact weapon skin will make you stand out in matches, giving you an edge that tells your enemies not to play around. The weapon skin will be released at seasonal launches, available for purchase throughout the season. Once unlocked, it remains in your inventory indefinitely and can be applied to all Pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. And here is the one that we've all been waiting for. All of the balancing that's happening to the operators. We already talked about Habana, Jaeger, and Echo. Now, Ash is getting three breaching charges. Ash is going to be like a new buck. She's not only does she have breaching charges, she also has her breaching charge gun. And also, her stun grenades are getting replaced with a claymore. So you can just put it on the flank. And I guess, you know, the HP down from 50 to 90, which doesn't matter. I feel like Ash is going to be a lot more heavy on the vertical play this season. And I guess Twitch is going to be the new Ash because she's getting stun grenades and replacing the breaching charges. So no more vertical plays, Twitch. Wamai well, is getting four instead of five magnets. Magnet explosions auto destroys it. And he's getting impact grenade instead of a sheet. Dokubi is getting her frag grenade back. And impact grenades are being given to Valkyrie instead of a shield. Outside detection, the next day, faster rate. 
I really like this. Faster reinforcement. Deploying reinforcement is reduced from 5.5 seconds to 4.5. That's going to be a huge, like, that's going to be crazy. Just, like, just the little things that you don't notice, and I really like it. A continuation of the preparation phase in the caster HUD, apparently. The playlist guide updates, game health, diffuser plant system, deployables, and stickiness, 3D weapon skins. Good weapon skins are gradually being added to the game. Skins are intended to improve the quality of the content provided to players. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be 3D weapon skins. That's pretty cool. Yeah, those are the main bug fixes. So, the big thing about this season Jaeger, Jaeger, and Wamai. Pretty much nerf. Abana buff. Skyscraper rework. Brand new operator. A really cool. I like the weapon skins. It's pretty good. Um, Ash is getting kind of a nerf. Dokubi's getting a buff. Twitch is getting a buff. Well, my. Or you want to. Valkyrie's losing her shield. And so was my. Um. I did give this a uh, ten. Uh, one out of ten rating. I'd probably give it. Probably seven, cause like, I mean the operator looks cool and all. And I guess I'm a, I know the map rework's gonna be decent, but the fact that they're gonna be nerfing Jaeger and Wabai, that's gonna be really difficult. What's gonna turn the tides and make the game more attacker sided, which it already has been doing, with all these new hard breachers. And there's like there's nothing really to counter it. I guess there's a laser grid now, but I don't know. I really like the Habana. I really like this Habana. I'm gonna be probably playing lots of Habana in the next coming week to get used to her again. I used to play Habana in general, but they, I like that they're making Echo more viable. They're making his stuff visible. You can't just be, you know, in in a corner like a little bum. I do like the runout crap because I hate dying to runouts. That crap is so annoying. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, all of the patch notes. This is gonna be the video for Saturday, because I did not have any Among Us. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to slap that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to, we're, I'm gonna try to get to 6k. Bro, we, we need to get to 6k. I want, I'm sick of being at 5k. Let's get to 6k. Everyone grind it out right now. Smash that sub button. I'll, I'll show you what to do. All right, is everyone ready? This is this is what you gotta do. All right, you, you type in my channel. All right, ready? CRL the I can't spell. CRL the doc. All right, look there I am, right there. Make sure make sure hit that sub button. All right, and the bell too, and all the notifications. Wow. And then don't forget to check out my latest video, RO Craft Remastered. It's pretty good. And then I surrender is pretty good too. Even Adventure Craft. Really good video. Us got some great content. I post daily. We got a schedule. We got cool uploads. Make sure you hit that sub button. I'm going to be streaming later as well on Twitch. Make sure to follow the Twitch if you haven't already. Make I'll show you. This is how you find the Twitch. Whoops. That's how I found my overlays. Look. Okay. Well, that just died. Alright, you click Twitch, alright? You search up here, you do CRL the doc. Ready? Look, there I am! I'm live with two viewers! Make sure you follow! You, gotta, you don't gotta click the heart. The heart. You, you, it's right there! Click Hit the, the follow button! And you can also give to the sub! You, 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 it's right right 20% off! The button. That's you crazy! Give to the you sub. save it's money! It right helps me out a lot! That's crazy! Make sure you guys... Save money. Like, helps me out a lot! Make sure you guys... Like, 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 and subscribe. Yeah, it's free. You can always change your mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day. That's a glass. See you guys in the next one. I'll be streaming right tonight. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'll be streaming right tonight. See you guys in the next one.